Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, JR Clocker on eBay. Right now I'm heading to the clock shop from our offices. It's about a 20 minute drive. Um, but we've been kind of crazy busy. We, uh, we bought another clock shop. Um, and not a lot, I mean, uh, you know, but enough. I, I have a unboxing uh, video that I've done, um, but we're just finding so much stuff in there. Uh, this is all like small stuff. These were all parts and a um, couple really kind of uh, rare clock movements. Uh, anyway, if you look on the, some of the items that are going up on eBay right now, um, it's uh, the, the, the code at the end of my title uh, is two letter and then a number. This one will be MC. Uh, and that's the letter code and then numbers. That's just order of, you know, listing. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 100, 200, 300. But MC is the code name or the code letters for where we purchased. Um, we've purchased from this person before, but he is getting ready to retire. Um, I didn't buy any clocks from him. Um, and I don't buy a, a lot of clocks unless it's just the whole deal I'm buying. But, uh, uh, you know, it, it, if, if they're not priced right, and he did shows and different things like that, so he wants and needs a lot of money for his stuff. Anyway, um, <clears throat> as I said, we're heading on there, and I'll edit and uh, give you a better idea of what's going on. One at the clock shop, and then in a future video, probably today or tomorrow, we'll do a little of the unboxing and taking a look at some of the stuff that we got. We are um, going to review some of the stuff that the crew's been doing. It's been kind of kind of slow, only because I think you may have already seen this video we ended up buying another clock shop right at the last minute it's not a big big not a huge purchase probably only about i don't know maybe at the end it'll maybe be nine or ten thousand dollars in profit so it's uh right now we're back looking we again we didn't want to confuse it with the big clock shop we bought in syracuse so we're back here today to look what the crew's done. Now, it may not look too different, but it actually really is. Uh, the cuckoo clock stuff's still basically the same. Sorry, my dog scratched me. Anyway, um, uh, we have now lotted out Korean movements. Uh, these are ones with broken springs. These are ones that are pretty much intact and can be safely stored. Um, yeah, you know, we all now have all the Hermleys, you know, and by number, it's, it's crazy. Um, there's been a lot done. We've situated a lot of the, uh, 400 day clocks up here, uh, some empty cases. And remember, we still have those, uh, those two, um, calendar clock cases. I believe these are, uh, Ithaca. Anyway, um, some stuff we're getting, this stuff here, we're getting ready to take to auction. Uh, this is miscellaneous stuff. Dials. Looks like there's a number for a dial here. No, that wouldn't be that one. Uh, let me see. Um, some big dials. Anyway. Uh, let me go. The big thing is, is that we now we have our American movements pretty much situated, unmarked, uh, Ansonia. Now, I know there's another bucket of Ansonia somewhere, so uh, we have some Ingram down here, Sessions, Gilbert, more Sessions, Gilbert, New Haven. All right, so I'm just going to wrap around there a little bit. And uh, Waterbury, of course. Ingram, uh, Ian Welsh. Uh, this is um, an Ian Welsh Ithaca calendar clock movement. And, uh, um, and 
uh, Krobler. Ah, uh, let's see what we have down here. This is actually, today's Thursday. My wife's birthday was on the 10th, so uh, on Tuesday. So we've been kind of going crazy. And yesterday was uh, Veterans Day. And, uh, ooh, there's a nice one. Um, I don't think it's all together, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it is. Uh, again, you know, so many of these... So often, you know, when you get to them, unfortunately, you get to them after they've pulled them apart and they didn't know how to put them back together again. Or they just didn't, they pulled parts out of them. Uh, these are all Seth Thomas 124s right here. Um, let's see how much, uh, there's a lot of this stuff has been, this one looks complete. This one and this one are not. This one is complete. This one is complete. And this one looks complete. Sorry if I kind of drifted away. Uh, here's a, this is an 89 up here. Um, and put my glasses on here. Uh, this is an 89, just a plain 89. Um, this is an 89 AD. Uh, which is really just, I'll have to look up the difference. It looks pretty similar. Anyway, and here's some French movements. Um, and here in the French movement, she misqualified this. This is, this is actually pretty cool. This is, uh, this is a, an old, uh, ship's clock. And I can't see it with my glasses, but I'll show it to you real quick there's a mark on it there it is I'm not quite sure I'm gonna go in on it I can't see it from here but anyway uh, this is a ship's chronometer uh, not all together but uh, it's still pretty cool and some other stuff over here, some parts and, of course, bags of stuff and another, some more French. Uh, and here we go. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much what's going on. Uh, we're just separating some other stuff here. I see. I really haven't been here, so I don't know what as everything is going on. Looks like this stuff's ready for auction um we really got to get start getting into these uh cuckoo clocks mm, excuse me this is actually probably going to be a nice one let's see uh, it is but it's it, it's had its better days it's falling apart here on me but that's a nice uh that's a nice early movement um but it doesn't have a back and the bellows are shot, so uh, really hard to figure out, you know, what, what really we can do with it other than uh, see what people need. And uh, um, I don't know what, what the, these are made out of, but the hands are missing. It's, it's such a shame. These things just kind of get tossed around, and there's another nice one here. <clears throat> You know, but it's, it's, you know, it's in pretty bad shape. Um, and I don't even know if this is the right side for it. But anyway, so we'll go through it. And of course, uh, oh, yeah, let me, uh, <coughs> our, uh, all of our electric movements, most of these are like Seth Thomas, uh, and some of these others can be Seth Thomas too. And I'm not, I really literally just saw them said, oh, they, they did these as well. And, um, but anyway, yeah, we bought another, uh, shop out and we have to, uh, oh, this is really something I get distracted. Something I'm working on. This was a total wreck, but I really wanted to bring it back. It's a triple chime. Here's the movement for it. Has a really nice uh, dial. Um, it's been running now. 
you know, really perfect. It has a polished uh, plates, you know, real show, showy showpiece. And uh, that'll be up. I don't know whether we're going to sell it here in the, in the clock shop or we're going to put it on eBay or whatever. Let me know if you have any interest, but uh, it's been running and keeping really good time. I don't know what, a little slow, I think a little slow. Um, and uh, not too slow. I haven't been here for about a week and it's about a couple minutes slow. Anyway, um, but again, just to give you, uh, it, it, it's, it's slowly, I have a generator in here somewhere. You'll figure out where, I kind of forgot all about it because we, we bought it to go up to, um, where did she put it? Anyway, there's a generator around here in his box <laughs> that, uh, a beautiful Honda generator. And I don't know where she put it. My wife, Trish. That's, uh, uh, she says it's in here somewhere, but anyway, uh, she says she kept knocking into it, so she moved it. But where did she move it to? Um, these are really nice. Uh, heavy, I think they're marble cases. Um, they have quartz movements in them. Just, uh, I don't know. I mean, nothing against quartz, but um, I'm just used to seeing nice marble cases have, you know, really nice, uh, really nice uh, movements in it. Hmm. I wonder what she did with it. But it's a brand new Honda generator. Not not the real small ones. It's a rather size. We were going to take it up and use it and decided that we only work during the day. So there was enough light. And the fact that I didn't, I mean, it's new in the box. I mean, new in the box. And I needed to put oil in it. So uh, instead of that, I just said, hey, you know, we'll just, you know, we'll keep it. That's for sure. Because I've been wanting a a nice Honda generator forever, but I don't know where she, in the world, she put it. All right. Well, that's enough for me searching around. Anyway, still haven't found that generator. I'm going to have to ask her where she put it. Um, but I'm not going to have the search with you guys. <laughs> so I will say, well, of course I am, because I'm still searching for it. <laughs> but anyway... I will say uh, good evening, good night, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, we're having quite an adventure here. And uh, I have on, on docket for early 2021 at least two more clock shops. Looking for a watch shop. Uh, looking to buy a watch shop. Uh, it's a little harder to get watch stuff right now uh, with COVID, so we're always looking for um, a watch shop. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll have that other um, video coming out here, uh, the unboxing of this other place that we got. All right, thanks for stopping by.